I'm putting my college football 25 road to glory in Madden 25 for the first time ever, where I'll be drafted and then play my rookie season. But first, a huge thanks to EA for allowing me to capture this early access footage. This gameplay is presented by the EA Creator Network, and normally I just do college stuff on this channel, but I have to see how my rookie year goes in Madden 25. In order to get your player in Madden 25 though, you have to start on this game, and what you'll do at the end of your junior or senior year is click leave for the NFL. That's going to take you over to this screen right here, and all you have to do is click export player to Madden. For a bit of a backstory before we get over to Madden, you can see that my player had some really good throw accuracies and I could also move pretty well, but I never took home the Heisman Trophy even though my senior season was incredible. Anyway, I'm ready to load up Madden 25 and start my career. And keep in mind that everything you see in this video is on a work in progress build. So we're just going to select superstar mode. All you have to do to import your player from here is click any of these positions and then it's going to give you this option to click import on your guy. So that's what we've done. I've taken my player over from college football 25 and I could could still add stuff like tattoos which aren't available in that game, but we have to earn a lot of those throughout our career because from the start there's not many available. Now is where we build our archetype quarterback though, and I think I want to go with Scrambler just so I can run around a ton. But I think it's important to point out that I don't have to keep some of these stats as what the defaults are. I'm able to change things up a bit, so that's what I'm going to do right here, and I think this is how we're going to start with our player. 88 speed's going to be a ton of fun, but my main goal throughout our rookie year is going to be to upgrade my throwing stats, and I guess you could also also use your college player in the showdown mode, but I'm ready to start my career in the league. I do need to edit my drip a little bit though, that stuff didn't carry over from that game. And now I think we're looking a lot better. When it comes to the settings, I'm going to throw it on the hardest difficulty, so we'll see how that plays out. And I'm ready for the NFL Combine where we are about to put on a show. I'm walking out of the tunnel, you can see some of the other prospects with me, and everything I did in my college career all comes down to this. Starting with the 40 yard dash, my expected results actually supposed to be high. And we'll see how we do here, there's a chance that I'm going to I have to redo this a couple of times because this will affect my stats in the long run. So I don't want to have a bad performance, especially talking on camera. And yeah, that's just not good enough for me. I mean, it was the highest of all the quarterbacks, so maybe I should take it. And it got us a B grade, which is going to give us plus three speed and plus three acceleration. I don't want to mess that up. Now we have the bench press. We're after rep 225, so this won't go well. Because in real life, that's my max. So anything above one would be amazing here. I just have to hit L1, R1, and then go up again, L1, R1. I'm not great at this. I think last year I got three when I did Madden 24. So we're already doing better than last year, which is, I guess, good news, but I'm done. Five reps is going to be the lowest of any prospect. And it wasn't even close. The rest of them have beat us out, but I don't think strength, which is what it should give us, will help us much. The same goes for the broad jump. This should only increase my jumping stat, which means how I do in this really doesn't matter that much. I missed. By now, I'm just going to do my first play through the combine. I'm not going to retry anything, even though you can. And look at that. I'm at the bottom of the board again. This is going to affect my draft grade. If I got a C grade, I would have gotten plus one to jumping though. And since my change of direction, so good I should do a lot better on the 20 yard shuttle. If I ended up being a late first rounder though I don't think I would complain about it. I kind of want to go to a better team. What am I doing here? I am going to cut and then do I tap a button? Yeah I tap a button super quick cut again. This is actually looking really good and we did it in four seconds. I'm pretty happy with that and I just did the Ronaldo celebration but I should be. I beat out my expected result and had the best one of any QB. Let's see what stat that boost. It's a plus five to change a direction and to wrap things up we have this quarterback route tree drill. I'm pretty sure all I have to do is lead these receivers to make the catch in the zone so this shouldn't be too difficult. I'm expecting to do pretty well in this. Once we get out of this though I am going to change up the passing meter because I prefer to just not have one at all even though it's going pretty well. If I'm able to go eight for eight that's a great ending to this combine and some of these are very close to not being in the zone just two more throws now i'm gonna wait for the cut and i might have hit it a little late but he caught it in stride and now we just have to hit this streak at the right time come on go eight for eight right there no it didn't give it to us we're finishing with a b grade but this doesn't increase any stats so it really doesn't matter the bench press and broad jump didn't go well but they didn't affect me much and i'm still a mid first rounder i think the most important thing we can take away from that though is the plus three speed plus three acceleration and plus five change of direction i also got an extra skill point so i'm able to upgrade my throw power i'm gonna have to do that until we get to 90 i mean it's just not good right now but it's okay i have 91 speed so i'll be a running quarterback until i'm better at throwing before i get drafted 
drafted, it looks like I also have an interview to take. And my agent wants to know if I want to decline this interview or participate in it. I think I'm going to take my chance. There's a chance it hurts my draft stock since my NFL knowledge isn't up there with my college knowledge. And I just don't watch it as much. But this is easy. The Wildcat offense is the first answer. Now the trophy that's awarded to the team that wins the Super Bowl is named after what head coach? That's going to be the Lombardi. And which quarterback caught a touchdown pass on the famous Philly special in the Super Bowl? I'm pretty sure it was Nick Foles. Now they're asking me what player was on the cover of Madden 08. I'm not entirely sure. It could be Reggie Bush, but we're gonna go with Vince Young. I'm a Colts fan, so I know this one. It's easily Baltimore. That one was not hard. But now it's asking me which team became the first number two playoff seed to not make it to the divisional round. It might be the Dolphins. I know they've struggled. The questions just keep on rolling in, though. I know the Tush Push has to deal with the Eagles and Jalen Hurts, so we'll select that. And I'm pretty sure whenever you're in dime, you have six DBs on the field. Now we have another cover athlete one, and it's either Dante Culpepper or Eddie George. Michael Vick was later, but we're going to go with Eddie George. And which NFL legend officially retired at the end of the 2023 season? It has to be Tom Brady. I only got eight of those 10 correct, so make sure to let me know down in the comments what I missed. I'm pretty upset I missed a couple, but that's just how it worked out, and now we have the NFL draft. I'm also able to read some tweets about me. I'm going to see if I have any haters over here. I feel like this could be pretty interesting. And nobody talked about my bad performances in the combine. They just talked about the positives. I guess it's time to see what team is gonna take me. Last year I got drafted by the Bucks, and don't tell me it's the Bucks again. Are you serious? I guess we're gonna be repping Tampa Bay one more time. I'm located in Tampa. I have no choice here. It just chooses them for me. And there's Roger Goodell out there on stage with the 26th pick. I can't believe I fell that far. I was almost a Heisman winner. It said mid first rounder, but this is a good landing spot for a quarterback. I'm gonna play through most of my rookie year as far as it lets me play, at least in this video. And now it's time to sign my first NFL contract. Let's see what this is all about. How much money am I getting? That's what I'm really curious. 13.6 mil in four years. I will gladly put my name on this one. Yep, go ahead, put it down. Maybe by Madden 26, I'll get a different team than the Bucks. but that's how it's working for now, and I'm walking into the team facilities at the moment. It says, welcome to Tampa Bay, James. We're glad to have you here. There's no audio on this. It's just a bunch of text. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet. It's not my favorite. And they're saying that I'm the extra spark that they need. So much for Baker Mayfield being here. Now I have to say what I want to focus on during the preseason, and I think I have to go with with being accurate. I mean, my accuracies are just not good. And that's going to give me a bigger boost than I was expecting. I've also started a quest right here, so I'm pretty sure this is new to superstar mode. And I want to explore this tab. I think you have to go down for the superstar ones, and let's see what's inside here. Apparently, it's just a bunch of different things I need to complete. This is how I can get some more XP. And even though things have looked pretty good so far, I will point out something I don't like about superstar compared to Road to Glory, and that's the fact that I'm already the starting quarterback over Baker Mayfield. I didn't have to work for it, have any position battles, or any anything. I'm just automatically the starter. But one thing I do appreciate is this new screen compared to what we have in the college football game. I just feel like there's more information here. It's time to start the preseason though, where I'm going to play this first quarter and then we're just going to advance to the regular season. But I want to at least get a feel for this team and starting at a 79 overall is going to be tough. Going into this first game, it's just preseason football, so it's not that serious. But it's the first time any of the Bucks fans are seeing me out there on the field and this is a pretty cool graphic. It looks like there's multiple camera angles you could go with, but this one should allow me to see the field at least decently and Chris Godwin's going to make the first catch of the day. I am wondering how this playbook is going to be different though than what I ran in college. I'm running the speed option like it's college and I've actually found some stuff that I used to have at my time at Kentucky. We're running jet touch passes. Come on Chris Godwin. I was hoping he would have gotten at least a little bit loose there. Now I have to step up in the pocket, use my speed at least the best that I can. And if you watched my college career, you'd know that I normally don't fumble it whenever I run it. I fumble the ball a lot whenever I take sacks though and we have our out route all day. Their coverage just wasn't guarding that side of the field. So I feel like with what the fans have seen out of me so far, they should be pretty happy, though that might be intercepted, and it's not. Thank goodness. Sterling Shepard catches my first touchdown pass of the year, and I completed pretty much every goal that I needed to on that drive. Since it's the preseason, that's the only time that I'd see the field, but I did well in my limited time out there, and that's gonna lead to me leveling up, which unlocks a lot more things, and I have to say, my goal for the season's just getting the Bucks into the playoffs. What's gonna be crucial to my success is that I can 
throw the ball far too. I don't like how little my throw power is right now. So we're going to increase that. And then my short throw accuracy, that's going to unlock an ability called arm talent and applying it means my bullet passes are going to be a little bit harder. Now, if I want to unlock one of these X factor slots, it seems like I have to complete a certain quest line and we'll see if more of those come up whenever I advance to the regular season. I'm ready to get things rolling against the commanders first, but we have some tasks that we have to complete beforehand. And let's see what all this is about. We have a quick rundown on the game plan. I'm going to tell my coordinator it's a good one. I don't know any better. And quick slants, bubble screens, just get the ball to Evans and Godwin is what they want out of me. Not sure how big of a difference it'll make, but we did get plus 10 break tackle to our wide receivers for that. And then also plus 10 release, which I love. Now I get to meet the media for the first time. And it says, welcome to the NFL, James. What are these reporters going to hit me with? How does it feel to start my season with the Bucks? I have been training for this, but I'll just say I'm honored to play here. And I think the most valuable part of my gameplay is going to be my scrambling ability. So I'm going to say my skills as a runner. Running the ball has always been a natural part of my game. Good little answer right there. It keeps defenders on their toes. I still don't know how I like the display, but at least it's a bit different. And I'm not going to hurt other receivers egos by saying that playing with Mike Evans is a dream. I love them all. Those answers would unlock some other quest for me. And there's a load of different ones in here that we can choose from now. I really like the record breaker section because it gives you a bunch of different quarterback records that you could break and what you need in the game to do so. So for example, something I might go for is rushing for 15 touchdowns in a single season. Then there's easy ones like this where I just have to win a home game and complete 10 lob passes at home. But the rewards for these bottom two are pretty big because it unlocks the ability to have some X factors. That just gives me something else to do throughout this season. I like the idea of it. Season quest. Let's see what this is all about. I'm pretty sure it's just this set a goal that we want to complete. And I think what I'm going to go with is 25 passing touchdowns. Hopefully I get a lot of those. We have a team workout as well. I'm not sure if we get to play this or not, but catching traffic could help. And that's kind of unfortunate. It seems like you don't get to hop into that practice, but I think we're ready for our game against the commanders. Right off the start, I want to go ahead and wear the creamsicle jerseys. They've always been my favorite ones the Bucks had, and I think they look so clean, but let me know down in the comments if you agree. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. We're about to start my rookie year, and my first play of the regular season is going to be a hitch route for like eight yards. Bobby Wagner made the tackle there. I had no idea that he was on Washington, but I just don't keep up with NFL as much, so maybe that's not new news. And let's go ahead and do a little halfback trap to let Rashad White get loose. So far, I've liked the playbook that I'm using. I seem to find a lot of stuff that I would also run in college at Alabama. And some of these plays are literally the exact same ones with the exact same name. So I'm wondering if some of those carried over. If EA took plays from my college team's playbook and put it in my NFL one, that would be next level. And it is a nice change of pace to be able to call any play I want instead of being told what I'm running by my coach. I think it makes sense at the college level though, also separating Road to Glory from Superstar. And I had almost no time there setting us up for a third down where I am going to hit that route and we are going to have a touchdown. I have found a play that I really like. The fades worked well on College Football 25, but Washington's offense worked it down the field to get three, and now we're going to the bubble screen. Chris Godwin's going to get us nine. It is now third and one. We have a speed option to the left. This works really well in the college game. They also called a flag. So since the NFL is soft, I'm guessing they hit me too hard. But no, instead it was holding. I was really hoping it was roughing the passer, even though I did run the ball there, and we are still going to have Mike Evans. So I might regret saying this as the season goes on, but I feel like all Madden's easier than Heisman mode. We're also facing off against the commanders, which is probably an easier opponent. And I can already tell that I want to take back my statement after taking that last sack. I'm going to have to scramble for the entire third and 16 and I was still made it. There are some RPOs in this playbook as well. I think I selected the Seattle one. And I remember running this orbit cross screen at Alabama. This is the exact same play. So this is super cool to see in the game on Madden 25 now, but it doesn't get much. Third and three. I'm kind of hoping for the blitz so I can immediately hit my tight end. I fit it over the linebacker's head. Look at that. And that's going to take us to the two minute warning. By the way, I've played in both Raymond James on the college football game. And then here on Madden 25, I feel like it looks better than it does in the college one. But I don't know if I'm just seeing things or not. USF plays here in the college game. So that's why I would know both of them. We're going to try for this play. It's not going to get us much. And if you've watched the channel before, then you would know I really struggle in the red zone. So I'm surprised that wasn't picked. It was supposed to be a corner route to Mike Evans. He kind of stopped, but at least we got a field goal and we're back out there with 48 seconds left in the half. I still haven't thrown an interception. It might be coming on this drive, but I could also have a huge rushing play. I need to keep on going. And I probably could have taken a hit there since wear and tear is not in this game, but my running back's in the way right now. That is going to hurt us. I don't think we're going to beat them deep with any routes either, just speed wise. So best case scenario here, we're probably just getting a field goal and we're actually in range. They're taking me off the field, so they're not going to give me a chance to get us any closer, but I did the 
best that I could and headed back out there on the field. We're up by 10 points, so that means we drilled it. I'm also going to use Playmaker. This is one of my favorite features. He can block for us, but my focus has to be getting more passing touchdowns. We're playing against Washington. I need to have like four of them at least. I think next up on the schedule is the Lions, which is going to be a lot harder. And we have a motion vertical play here where I'm hoping they don't guard underneath, but they did, and I'm about to take a sack. That is way better than turning the ball over, especially since our defense is playing pretty well. And I haven't handed it off much in this game, which is an issue, but that was almost picked. I think we're very lucky to have it on third down. Chris Godwin's open. I'm just going to be smart with it. Let him take it to midfield. And now they are running like a cover three. So we had the seam open, but I missed. That is why I still need to upgrade a lot of my stats. And I'm actually surprised that I haven't thrown an interception off of something like that yet, but I'm sure it's coming later in the video. On a third and eight, maybe we're going to get a big play out of it. We'll see what type of coverage they're running. I was going to scramble, but last second I saw square was wide open and what is happening? Well, the win still hasn't been locked in. We are not winning this one by very much and this is not good. They've gotten us to a second and 10 now. I had a touchdown on that play or at least a huge one. I can't outrun this lineman. So everything has stalled out offensively and our halfback screen didn't even get out. Now that we have the ball back again though because of a turnover, we're gonna run the football and the read option gets me like seven. I can't go away from the RPOs even though I'm no longer on the college game as we have to move the chain somehow. And we're getting close to the two minute warning so there's not that much time left plus we're in field goal range. We pretty much have a win locked up as long as I don't turn the ball over but that's a lot easier said than done. I want to pass for another touchdown and I was trying to playmaker there so I could have. I need to pad my stats a little bit more. Come on I'm just going to step up and take it in. Where I'm now hitting some sort of dance this is about the whitest thing I've ever seen. And somehow the commanders have scored without burning any of their timeouts in like a minute. That is ridiculous. Their offense did absolutely nothing all game until it actually matters. So it's on me to make sure that we pick up this third and six and that's what we've done with the slant that's ball game. I'm very happy that in my first start as a rookie I've gotten a win but next week I'm going to be challenged a lot more. Going from playing the commanders to the lines is a huge jump but with some more skill points like this I should be better prepared and I want to point out that on this main menu screen behind all the stuff that's going on you can see yourself in the locker room celebrating the win so that was pretty neat and I think we have to increase some of our throw accuracies. We still have a long way to go but I'm getting an interview at practice and let's see what type of questions this reporter has for me. Where did I find my success? I would say by extending the play. And now that I've tasted success, how will I continue to develop? I think I will do it just by staying hungry. Answering those questions a certain way will give you certain boosts like plus five throw on the run. And there's apparently another quest with the media. All I have to do to complete this though is pass for 300 plus yards and then that's going to give me a type of tattoo. So we'll see if we can pull that off against Detroit. But before we hop into that, we also have a personal workout and I think what I'd like to increase is my speed. That's going to be huge, but the Lions will be wearing their 2020s jerseys because I've been asked not to leak the new ones. It is still a work in progress build that I'm playing on, but the new jerseys are in there. I feel like they would have revealed them by now though, so I'm not sure what all that's about. They've already scored though, and I can just sense the difficulty in this one versus the last one already. I'm going to use Playmaker though, and I didn't get it out in time, so that's unfortunate because I feel like I would have completed the pass and we just couldn't get it out. That was a very rough three and out that we just went through. So this time around, I am going to hit Chris Godwin immediately and let him go to work. Why didn't he cut up? He literally had a touchdown right there and he just decided not to take it, but our wheel route was kind of open and they almost picked it. I don't think I'm good enough to be throwing passes like that. I might need to be a little bit more careful, especially just putting it up in the air. But we held on to that ball and now we're going to let Rashad White go to work. Never mind, that one was Rashad Penny. I guess we got two Rashads on the team. That should be a laser, but the zip just wasn't there. And what is up with all of these motions? I think we're going to have Chris Godwin on a hitch or something. I guess it wasn't, but it was close enough. And now we're going to have the halfback angle route. We're inside the 10. That is needed since it's the end of the first quarter and we still haven't scored, but I'm confident in our abilities to get in here. And Chris Godwin makes the catch. I'm only saying I'm confident because if I don't, I'm going to throw an interception straight to the other team. I shouldn't have run here. I had the touchdown, but wait, they're saying Rashad White was able to get in right there. So I'll take it. We've now got it back after getting a stop with a chance to take a lead on the Lions, though they're ready for me to run. And I just remembered I have plus five speed in this game. If I see man-to-man -man coverage, I'm taken off immediately. We have to pick up the third and inches first, though. I trusted that we could do it on the ground. And that was kind of a close call, but there's the man-to-man -man coverage we were hoping for, and they were prepared to stop my scramble. I feel like we haven't had any deep completions in this game at all, just short stuff underneath, which is great for keeping the drives alive, but I want to have a 300-yard, a 400-yard performance in my career. Since I'm only a rookie, I still have to prove myself.
file. And let's see what we can do with the four verticals. I'm gonna roll out and then use a playmaker. It didn't work. I think it went to someone that was closer. But what we wanted to happen still did, and I might have had Mike Evans there. Now I need them to bite down so I can throw for a tutty. Chris Godwin just carried almost that entire drive. So we're gonna be looking back in his direction after the Lions went down and got a field goal, just not on this play. College Football 25 has made me much better at football video games, though. I feel like I'm playing really well. And we're just continuing to move it. Now I'm gonna step outside the pocket where that should have been knocked down. In a perfect world, we're gonna be able to hit Chris Godwin on that fade route, though, and I just couldn't take it. I couldn't risk the safety getting to the ball. I'll give it one more look, but I had to back up my camera so I could see it, and I threw it no matter what. I was going to hit that button where we almost caught it, I think. I can't tell. It looks like this ball dropped into his hands, but he couldn't hang on. So we have one more shot to the end zone, or else we're just gonna have to take a field goal to end the half, and I think that's what's happening. Coach is pulling me after that pass. No reason to be aggressive. And we missed the field goal. Are you kidding me? This is the NFL. I expect us to hit that. That was shorter than what an extra point is. And now it's third and 16 where Chris Godwin might have beat that corner deep and there's a flag. We don't have the speed to outrun anybody, which I'm not used to, but I will take this all day. I'm accepting it. And I'm excited to see how far I can make it in this video without throwing an interception. It's something that you would have expected to happen by now. I'm about to scramble. I'm taking off with my speed. I know that I can get a lot of yards here and we're also getting hit. Unlike college football 25, they are throwing a flag on that and penalties have gotten us halfway down the field. This is literally the greatest drive of all time and I feel like I'm not even doing that much. We're about to take it to the three or two, but that is still not a touchdown. I really need some man-to-man -man coverage here so I can make the right read, which I did. Staring down one route doesn't always hurt you. Sometimes it helps. And this is actually confusing me so much how I'm better at this game than the college one, except I fumbled it, so maybe I'm not. I knew a turnover like that was coming soon, but the Lions were only able to get a field goal out of it, and we're gonna have our tight end all day. I'm threading that up the middle. What I like about the classic passing on here so much is whenever I throw the ball, it doesn't float in the air. It's like an actual bullet pass. Now I'm running it to get out around the 20, but that's not the most helpful thing in the world. If I'm gonna get 300 passing yards, I still need another 70 because right now I'm at 231. I wanna unlock a tattoo. Right now my player has almost no drip. I just noticed none of the stuff I put on him stayed. And here on third and three, we're going to have Rashad Penny four, six or not. That actually really stinks. I wanted credit for a touchdown pass, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and get it on the ground. Once again, I am dancing and I should never do this again, but I'm pretty sure there is a way to change my custom celebration. So I'm gonna look into that going forward. From here, I'm pretty much just gonna run out the rest of the clock. This game is over, but our linemen never make it easy for us. Whether it's the college level or the pros, my teammates can't stop from holding on the plays. And there we go, that's a first. I just got reminded that I still need about another 33 passing yards as well. So I'm gonna try to get it to Mike Evans here, but that might be picked. That would have been so upsetting if that was my first interception in the league. Now I've fumbled the ball and I'm just really hoping that this is cover three, but it's not, it's cover one. So we had to try to float it above those DBs, which I did. I have now thrown for 310 yards in this game. And this could go down as the greatest performance of my rookie career. I mean, I still have a chance to have other good wins, but I don't know how that's gonna happen. I have over 100 rushing yards, no turnovers, at least interceptions, over 300 passing yards, and hopefully five touchdowns if that was on target. That was my chance right there. I'm kind of disappointed that we couldn't bring it in, but we're about to anyway. And that's former Washington receiver Jalen McMillan fighting his way in. Just from what he did in college, I knew he was gonna be good in the NFL. And let's take a look at these stats, 331 yards through the air, and then on the ground, 100 rushing yards, which is gonna get me some more skill points and increase my change of direction. It is so nice to know that my throw accuracies are just gonna continue to go up. And now one of my teammates wants to chat. What does Mike Evans want? How do you think this offense is shaping up? Well, after that last game, Mike, I'd say it's clicking pretty well. And I get more confident with every rep. That is very true. Next up, he's glad to hear it, I guess. What else do you have for me, Mike? We're gonna put up some numbers this week. He's saying, I'll just say this, get your popcorn ready. So I guess he's gonna have his X Factor enabled for the entire game. And it seems kind of pointless, but I'm gonna use the barrel drill to increase my offensive line speed by five. Everybody should be ready to have a great performance. And we have a player spotlight coming up. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be me and my stat line from the last performance. To my surprise though, the Broncos scored on their first drive and we have multiple receivers open here, but I think I threw it a little bit too late. I know Mike Evans has his ability activated. 
I'm pretty sure that is double me. I'm going to put him on a streak. And he should catch any ball that we put up in a one-on-one -on -one situation, but I'm not sure if I like it there, so we're going with the halfback angle route. There was a flag on the play, though, and it's holding. So that makes it first and 20, and you know what? I'm just going to throw this one up straight to Mike Evans. My throw power is not the best, so I had to get rid of it quick, but he should catch it. And what's the point of having double me if you're not going to make that catch right there? Well, now it's third and 20, and I'm going to use the custom route stem to make this comeback route super deep. If he's going to have X factor, he should be able to run that, but it didn't work, and we've been stopped on our first drive. Losing to the Broncos is not something that should happen. We're going to have to come out playing a little bit better on this next one. With my scrambling ability, I'm going to have a huge play for us, and I almost got free. That looked really good right there, and I am going to roll out to throw this route to McMillan over that DB's head. But it didn't work out the way I was hoping it would, and this is cover three. We're going to have a touchdown. It's so nice to be able to actually make those throws on this game. And now we're going to use a little bit of a play action to try to get Mike Evans open deep, but it didn't work, so we'll take the crossing route instead, but there's a flag. Go ahead, call the holding. I know what's coming. And now we're starting another drive on first and 20. That makes things so much more difficult, but Mike Evans gets free. I threw it at the right time, and there's just one player that can catch him. His double me ability might not be working as I thought it would, but he's still going to get open whenever we need him to, and they thought sending in a blitz would work. I'm just going to scramble for hopefully a touchdown here. I'm diving for the end zone. Looking back on it, that was probably the worst decision that I could have made right there. I mean, I wasn't even close but we're going to roll out and thread the needle to Mike where he dropped it. He isn't losing his X factor though. I'm not sure what it takes for him to lose it. He'll catch this. And I'm really happy with how my career started here in Tampa. I'm also going to try to scramble. I am so much faster than I was in college. I think I have like 91 speed compared to the 83 I had. And that has definitely saved us multiple times. Now Mike Evans is going to get open with the comeback route. There's no way he wasn't. But we're not done. I'm going to continue to use play action to roll out and find him again. He's open at the 10 yard line. He's not getting in. But he is setting us up to run away with this game. And I don't like any of these hitch routes. Throw it away. Now part of me really wants to throw this goal line fade over on the left side. He does have double me. I'm going to throw it anyway. He should be grabbing this ball. And there it is. The ability's working. He was able to hold on to it. We just had another drive with a lot of success and it seems to continue. Where all it's taken is them running man-to-man -man coverage versus one of the best wide receivers in the league. Now I'm going to try to playmaker. That's going to be a flag and it's almost pick too. I had this same issue in college. I'd throw it a second too late. So they're going to accept that. Oh well, what we're going to do is have a couple players out there on streaks and if they're not open, we can still go underneath. Making it third and five where I'm going to take a halfback screen to Rashad Penny and there's so much open space on that side of the field. I better stay on Madden for as long as I can because I'm not going to play any better than I am right now. I mean, this feels amazing. And my stats look like this before halftime. As you can see, it's on all Madden. You can't say that it's not. And I'm using this classic passing meter. I might have to try this on the college game. I mean, it's not even a meter at all. There's nothing out there on the field. But I just messed up the easiest touchdown ever because I didn't want to hand it off and I wanted my own. I think my greed is going to get to me here unless I can make an incredible play. That's just not going to happen. And there's no way I'm able to outrun everybody. Come on, keep on going, truck your way into the end zone. And I tried my best there, setting up this fourth and goal. I'm glad coach is letting me go for it. I kind of want to throw it to Mike Evans anyway. And of course he held on to it. It was in single coverage and he has double me. At the moment, I'm on pace to have the greatest rookie season of all time. But I better humble myself because this is still the NFL and a lot can change in a very short time period. We still haven't won this game. What I'm going to do though on third nine is just throw it up to Mike Evans. If he's in single coverage, it looks like he wasn't. So we're going to scramble instead. And I've already rushed for over 100 yards as well, so I'm talking a lot of trash. I feel like this is gonna be cover two, but then they stick with him for so long, but they can't do that this time around. It is definitely gonna be one-on-one -on -one coverage, so we just need him to go up and make the catch. I don't know what it takes for the X Factor to deactivate, but it is still on there, and I don't think we're picking up the third down, which means we've finally been stopped again. All we need is one more touchdown, and we'll be on to our next game. I'm gonna roll out, and I think we might have our tight end. Actually, they caught up him last second. Please catch that ball. And now we get to try one of the weirdest plays I've ever seen. Come on, please tell me this RPO works. No, we're just going to hand it off. That route could have been filthy. It was called Reed Mountain Stick. I wasn't sure how I was going to make a read. But since we didn't get a first down there, we're set up for a third and five where I just want double me to go crazy. Instead, though, I guess Mike Evans got locked up. And that's it. We're just going to run the option down the field until we score our last touchdown. We literally need one more to win this game, and I want them to bite on the running back. They're so worried about me keeping the ball that I haven't had a chance to, but I did right here, and now I have to get around this defender. 
if there's a way to increase my speed anymore, I would love to figure that out because then I'd be going crazy against these DBs. I gotta make him miss by swerving inside. And I like to look at things from a more positive light, but I feel like football games are back. I'm enjoying playing both of them. The gameplay's really been the strong suit of the college one. There's still stuff they need to work on. But my hope is at least throughout the year, we're gonna see some patches and then going into the next cycle, it'll be even better. I got kind of bored, so I started passing the ball again. Mike Evans needs to beat that press man to man. Why would you even try it? And that's gonna seal this game. We're gonna get on to our next one. Since I can't skip plays though, I have to manually run out the rest of the clock against the Broncos. And you all are lucky that with the power of editing, you get to skip over all of it. Just judging by my performance, I should be getting a huge payout in XP for this. And I've got four more skill points at my disposal because of that, plus a conductor ability. I'm not sure how to unlock that though. It's not available for me to select. And I just learned that there's a level path that will show you everything that you unlock as you progress throughout your career. So it's nice to see I'll get more speed as I reach higher levels. For my core skills though, I'm going to make my throw accuracy is a little bit better. And then I'm also going to increase my throw power, which is going to start to cost two each. And I'm just a 78 overall right now, but I feel like I'm better than that. I forgot about this quest too. answer the media. I did what it told me to, but it must be bugged or it's just because it's work in progress because I've only completed one of the six quests that are available. No new tattoos for me, except all of these that I can buy with coach cred. Okay. I'm about to have a lot of fun with this. I think this one goes super well with the Buccaneers jersey. That's what I'm choosing. And then on the other arm, I'm going to do this tiger one just because it looks kind of cool. We're rocking with it. I'm going to have to play another game though, before I can start to look through some of these celebrations and find some ones that I can buy. Because unfortunately at the moment, I don't have enough cred for it, but I'm also going to get a QB wristband. Now I'm hoping that we're ready to take the field versus the Eagles, but first I have a personal workout and a brand deal opportunity. So we'll see what all this is about. My agent's reaching out. I just got off the phone with Oakley. They're interested in signing you to a new exclusive deal to rep their visors. I think I have to take it. I only get one of their products though, I think because they want to make sure I'm delivering on the field before they send all of their stuff. So that's fine with me. I just have to play better to unlock more. It's also unlocked a new quest for us to explore. So this is simple enough. All we have to do is just wear a visor. Now I'm talking to my coordinator about playing the Eagles this week. Shots downfield are going to be tough to come by, but I think we can have a lot of success leaning on the run game. I'm going to ask if we can air it out instead. I want to throw the ball, but my OC is saying, no, he doesn't want to do that. I'll give you more details in the meeting, but this sets up for White Dev a big day. I guess Rashad White's going to get a lot of boost to stuff like break tackle and also five acceleration. So maybe we'll run with the Ravens playbook versus the Eagles. Just have some fun on the ground. Let's see which one of these I want to do. I think the throw power is going to help me. Let's go ahead and get into this game against the Eagles. And we're either running the ball all game or taking some deep shots down the field. My hope is if we run the ball enough, it'll also open things up through the air with play action. The first play isn't going to go for that much though. And I have a lot of quarterback runs in this playbook, but that got stopped. It might be best if we just keep the ball in the air on third down. We need Rashad White to make sure he picks it up. And it would probably be smart to hand the ball off to him instead of trying to do everything myself. He didn't get far though. I am returning to throwing the ball already. I'm kind of sick of running it and I've done like three plays, but maybe I need to be more patient and I did not mean to keep this football. I just got thrown around like a rag doll. We're still down by seven. And this could be the first game that we struggle in all season. It's not looking great, but Mike Evans catches it inside the red zone. I just know that the Eagles offense is going to be hard for our defense to stop. And the quarterback runs are not working, but Mike Evans is wide open. That would activate double me for him. So maybe we need to start looking in his direction more. I mean, we got to feed him the ball, but we've already reached the two minute warning. And we've literally only had one drive, which just means that the Eagles are taking a lot of time on theirs compared to ours. As long as we can tie it up before halftime though, we're going to be fine. And I'm going to step up in the pocket, run through all of that open space, but I tried to slide. We're very lucky that I didn't fumble there or something. Now we're going with the halfback screen. I ran backwards just because I wanted to have enough time to get that ball off. And it's third and four where we have a motion slant coming up on this right side. I was going to hit it, but now I'm going to roll out and I see that we're going to have to hope for the best here. I wasn't able to get us the first, but at least we see my new tattoos. And coach did not pull me off of the field. He has me going for it on fourth down where I'm just going to step up and scramble for it. Plus break a tackle, keep on going and slide. This has been quite the game so far. Still haven't made any mistakes, which is a good thing, but it's not the game plan that my coordinator wanted me to go with. And I think we could go backwards here. We might also go backwards on this play. We did the last time we ran it, but instead we got a touchdown and I can't watch this again. Come on. Well, with 23 seconds left, we have the ball back on the two yard line. I would assume our goal here is not take a safety. So maybe we should do this quarterback run and take it up the middle since I knew that spot would be open. If there's any play that's come out of this playbook being really good, it is that one, but there's not much time left in the half now. I'm going to try to get it to Rashad White because being in field goal range, 
range would have been nice, but instead we're going to the half. If we somehow break off this run, that would be insane, but it's out of my hands now. And this might be the first loss that I take in the NFL. Just because I love to run the jet touch pass, we are going to give it a chance, even though it won't work. And we might have a deep play here if I can get some time in the pocket or at least a corner route for like 20 yards. This game is still going really well for us. And that route from Mike Evans could give them a lot of trouble. I've also never seen a motion like this one before all around the field, but Mike Evans beat the press. That's what I was hoping for. And we're going to have him over the top for a huge touchdown. There is a reason that he has stayed in Tampa for so long that they want to keep him around. But Jalen Hurts is not chilling out. He just got another touchdown for his team. Now it is second and 13. I'm hoping that the blocks can hold up. If not, we're going to just dump it off to our running back for like 10. And we'll see what we can get away with on third and two. I think the drag's the safest option just to make sure we continue to move the chains. But it would be nice if we could take some deep shots and not have to work so hard for every point that we score. On second and two, they sent in a bit of a blitz and they also tackled our check down I was going to take. So that's unfortunate because now it's third and 12. We're out there in five wide and I think I'm going to have to scramble and make a play on the ground right here. Please block that dude. It was such a close call, but they've given us a first down. I've been able to stay on the field. Mike Evans catches it. And on the last play of the third quarter, we're going to get it out in time for Rashad White, who's going to go down at the two. We're in a decent spot to start the fourth. We just have to score more and we'll see if this quarterback power our run works where the blocks did not get picked up. That was far from ideal. Now we need to gain all that back. And I'm afraid unless I thread the needle here, we are going to be stuck getting our three. The fact that I still haven't thrown an interception is kind of crazy, but we apparently missed our field goal. And now with two and a half minutes, we find ourselves down by seven. What is that, dude? I did everything that I could for the Bucks, And we're just going to be in a really tough spot unless our crosser can help us pick up a lot of yards here, which it does. I have no shame. We will stay in four vertical. If that's what it's going to take to beat this defense, I'll throw it. Maybe it was a one-time thing though. Now they're starting to get some pass rush. And if this is a blitz, I'm ready to get it out super fast, but it wasn't. So we're going to have our corner route instead. Now I should probably be careful about how quickly I score against the Eagles because I don't want them to score. I need it to go to overtime. And I feel like if we left Jalen Hurts with about 25 seconds, he couldn't do too much. So that's what I'm hoping for, but we still have to get into the end zone ourselves. It shouldn't be too difficult though. On third and one, we're going to take it to our drag route and my coach wants to go for the two-point conversion. I don't love this level of pressure, but I think Durham's going to get open with this zig route. It is. He just has to hold on and I missed that pass short. Everybody's going to be disappointed. That's going to cost me the first game of my career. You saw me on the bench upset and it's not like I played bad, but I could have done a little bit better. I've upgraded myself a bit though. I got plus one to speed, plus one acceleration, some more skill points. And since I've been starting to throw it on the run so much, we're going to bump that up to 79. Now it looks like we have a couple more things to do before we play the Falcons. And this showdown invitational just has to do with the online mode. As for the other thing, it's just our coordinator telling us that their linebackers are jumping off the tape in pass coverage. So that's nice to know that their linebackers are going to probably pick me off. But I still haven't turned the ball over through the air. So maybe I won't throw a pick. It definitely helps my receivers just got plus 10 to their release. And even though we picked up a loss, just looking at some of the other records, we're still one of the better teams in the NFL. There's only four that are still undefeated. And then we're down here at three and one, but we're on pace to make the playoffs. And that's all that I can ask for. We're playing in a Thursday night primetime game. Those are normally ones that I like to avoid. But today I'm hoping it's one that we play well in and win. We're going to start off just checking it down, but we'll go deep later on. I need to make sure that I get into a little bit of a rhythm. This is man-to-man -man coverage. And I had exactly what I wanted on that play. So I was hoping they ran it again where I just threw my first pick off of a play like that. You've got to be kidding me. The Falcons are now up 10 to 0 against us. And what a horrible start. I'm going to go right back to it if they give it to us, but they sack me instead. It's early, but I already have to admit that I underestimated the Falcons. They're playing well. And on third and eight, it looks like our flat's open, but I don't think it's going to get us enough. It's now 17 to zero. This is going to have to be the best comeback in my career. And I think I've seen enough already. We just need to take off and scramble because nobody else is helping us out. We're going to have a huge play right here and we're going down hard. I thought the swerve inside was going to be a good move there, but it wasn't, and it looks like they're giving it to us again. Keep running man-to-man, -man and we're going to take advantage of it. It could be a match coverage too. I'm not entirely sure, but this time around, I want the playmaker to work, and they played that as well. That lets me know all that I need to. They're in a match of some sort. They got in pressure so quick, and now we might be out of field goal range, but Mike Evans has beat them deep, and please save the day. I put it in there for too long. I'm glad he still held on. I've been waiting on that route to work. 
and Atlanta's blown way bigger than a 17 point lead, so I'm not concerned at all. They have gotten us to a third down though. I'll give them credit. Their defense is playing well, but they're not gonna stop my scrambling ability. And that's pretty much all I've done in this game. I'm not sure if five wide's gonna be as effective as I would like it to be, especially when Eli Apple is clamping up your receivers and this isn't good. That's gonna be another interception. I got my buttons confused there. I wanted to take this out route, but it's still not gonna be enough. And getting the ball on the two yard line is not gonna be something that I enjoy. We are in a lot of trouble with a minute left in this first half. Our offensive line's not holding. And here we go. It's third and seven. Where are I am gonna take a safety? I mean, I stepped up. I was about to hit our crossing route over the middle. But the way that their pass rush is coming in, it's making me feel like I'm on the college game again. So we need something to go our way. We just had a huge play and we're gonna need one more to get into field goal range. But I don't think this crosser is gonna do it. And we actually have coaches taking me off the field. It's not great, but we're only down by nine points now. And I should have had Rashad White off of the wheel route. I'm going to still if I set my feet and it's out of bounds. That's so unfortunate. It could have been a huge play against this defense where I just underthrew a receiver. I really don't know what happened in this game. We've just kind of fallen apart. I want to trust Mike Evans, but that wasn't a great pass either. It really didn't look like it, but apparently he made the catch there. So we still have it. We're almost in the red zone and we just have to keep on pushing. This is going really well to start the second. Now we just have to hope that this isn't man-to-man -man coverage and it's not. So the RPO will work wonders for us, but I didn't get the ball back to Mike Evans soon enough. So his X factor just went away and I'm hoping the trick play can work against the Falcons. I really don't like being inside the 10 yard line. I'm so terrified of throwing interceptions. I'm getting taken down and we'll see if our slant can get open in time or if I'm going to have to step up in the pocket. I'll give the Falcons credit for their pass rush. It's been hard to play against, especially since they got another touchdown, but now we're going to try to push it down the field and we have to score on this drive if we want any chance at winning. Last play of the third quarter, our tight end's actually wide open, but he's not going to catch it and run. So we still have a long way to go in the fourth. I'm really relying on McMillan to get open with his crossing route here, or I'll just step up and scramble. That's the safer option. Now it's second and inches, much easier to just take a drag if our left guard could block. And we need Grady Jarrett to be slowed down for like one play. That's an interception, really? Well, I think we are about to lose another one. And I just noticed it was Eli Apple celebrating. That makes me sick. We're getting the ball back with 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter and no timeouts. This game's pretty much over unless we can just send up a prayer and hope for the best. Please don't be my third interception. And what a collapse this past two weeks has been. I thought we were going to easily make the playoffs. Now I'm just sitting here wondering if we're going to win our division. Mike Evans did get some separation here though, and he's still running down the sideline, but we're not even going to get another playoff. And that means we've lost by 14. I have got to bounce back in the next game. This is not acceptable. And I think what I needed was a new touchdown animation. I like this dance battle one. We're going to go ahead and get that. Now that I own it, I will be getting sturdy after every time I reach the end zone. And I really don't want to address the media after that loss. Even my teammates are disappointed in me. What the heck? I can only imagine how this is going to go. James, tough loss out there today. Can you walk us through what happened? Yeah, I threw a lot of picks and I took a lot of sacks. It's my fault. I'll take responsibility. My teammates and the fans deserve better is true. I've got to do more. 13 to 25 and had two interceptions. Thanks a lot, reporter. You're just rubbing it in. I want to say I just need to be smarter with the ball, but I'm kind of curious what happens if I deflect the question. So I'm not worried about my performance is what I decided to say. It's just one game. You're in a tight division race right now. They didn't clap back at my original response. Does this change anything moving forward? And uh, it wakes us up, I guess. Thank you. Go Buccaneers. I feel like that's a good way to end it. Plus 10 throw power for my next game. And I was so excited for it. But when I went to click advanced week, I got this message. Thanks for playing. Your season ends here for the Madden Close beta. What the heck? I can't go any further until release. And then this file's lost. So it almost means nothing. But at least we had a fun playthrough. We saw what team I got drafted to and we also know that I'd be on pace to have like 40 passing touchdowns, 4,000 yards, and another 1,500 rushing yards in my rookie season. I guess that's going to wrap up my NFL career, though. I still think it's super cool that I could port this over from college football 25 into Madden. And if anything, I might do more with this on my second channel, but at least for now, that's the last of this series on here.